Welcome to another Daily Shot. Ian, what are we chatting about today? Today, we're going to talk about people's hesitation to connect their inbox, email inbox, be it my Outlook 365 or Google Mail, mm. into HubSpot. Now, Craig, we have come across this a few times this week, and so I want to talk about it because there is misconceptions and there are people are unaware of certain things and there's certain fears around it, especially, I would say, probably CEOs of companies that don't want to do things. So tell me, what are the, some, some of the things we've come across with sales teams and people in businesses with connecting their inbox? Yeah, by the way, just before we go on, so just to clarify, you're not talking about the conversations inbox, no. which might be a general you know, sales or support at. You're talking about connecting personal, personal inbox yes. into HubSpot, yeah, which we recommend. It's kind of the first step of onboarding Correct. most of our clients when we do it. So the hesitation seems to be they're worried. This is the primary one. They're worried they might accidentally log something personal into HubSpot that they don't want to. Uh, you can think of all kinds of classic examples, some message you send off to your partner um, or you know, your kids or perhaps your accountant or maybe to HR within the company about another staff member. Sure, there's lots of concerns. How do we overcome it though, Ian? So the, the way to overcome that firstly is we always put a do not log on your company domain or any other related company domain. So a lot of our uh, businesses we deal with might have multiple domains that they have in their business. So we make sure those are all globally do not log in there. So where do you do that? It's email settings, global email settings. Now, actually, what I did notice the other day, when you have it in your personal settings in the toolbar where you've connected in your inbox, when you add a do not log in there, it says, do you want to do this for your account or do you want to do it company-wide? So that's the other one. Now, yesterday I had someone tell me, yes, we can do this. And then they went, oh, hang on. This sounds like it's too hard. I said, no, it's not too hard. Because you know the people that you don't want to, to log in HubSpot could be your HR consultants, HR contacts, your accounting practice, etc. So, you know, they, they're worried about conversations between potential competitors, also people that they're talking to to get assistance from. So these are the kinds of things. And I think you just got to make a choice, right? Like if you're if you're a CEO and you still want stuff logged, maybe the exception is you never log, but you always track and you log. your logging is actually the exception. If you're in the business and you're in sales, your default should be to always log and always track. And the exception is, no, I don't want to track this one. So there's two different scenarios. And I think when you understand that, the power of it is we always come back to this thing about people ask us, hey, we want all of this attribution and we want to know what's working and we want to know how many touch points we're having with the customer. But when key people are not logging the right things into the CRM, then it's very hard to actually know what those points are. And so I think it's a choice that you've got to make and you've got to have, think about this carefully. And I think it does bring up certain questions, but you just need to have a choice, go with the choice and then decide and then run with it. Don't sit in limbo land and go, oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, it's too hard. I don't want to think about it because I don't think that's a solution to the problem either. Totally agree. And so look, in summary, I think, by the way, if you're watching this and you're confused or you're not sure how it's set up in your business, uh, get in touch and we can go through your settings and just make sure it's all set up correctly. But the summary is it needs to come from the top. And if you've got a CEO who is involved in sales and the sales process, they need to be logging their emails to prospects and customers into HubSpot. They need to lead by example. Correct. And while there's all those risks or concerns rather that we highlighted at the start, they're easily managed by settings, a straightforward process. Get in touch if you need help. We'll catch you tomorrow. See you, Craig.